Hi, Dad. Hi. Are you done eating? <laughs> yes, Dad. What about Oprah? She didn't join me for dinner. She said she was not hungry. She's not hungry. Has she had something to eat today? No, she hasn't eaten since morning. Tell her to see me in my room. Okay, Dad. Good night. Good night. You have been acting strange ever since. What's wrong? I just want to be left alone. Just leave me alone. No. I can't leave you alone. What is wrong with you? You haven't even eaten since morning. Listen, I want us to go to the dining for dinner, okay? Let's go and have dinner together. Please. Nothing is the same anymore. Just leave me alone, I'm not hungry. Just leave me alone. Come on. Listen. I know you miss, you miss your mom. We all miss her. She will not be happy wherever she is seeing you starve yourself. Okay. Let's go and have dinner together. Can I go? Please. Oh. We all need I know this is not the best time to say this, but you've not given me the opportunity to, or the chance to apologize. Whatever I've done wrong, I am deeply sorry. Okay? I want things to go back to normal. Let's go back to the way we used to be. I don't like the cold shoe that you're giving me. I'm your father. Please, I am sorry. So you want me to forgive you? Yes. Okay. Will you be able to answer three questions? Okay, go ahead. First question. Why didn't you pick up the phone the night we were calling you to tell you about mom's condition? Um, uh, 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 the, the, the thing is, uh, 
I... Second question. Where were you when we were calling you? Okay, fine. I... I, I, I was... I, I was, um... Where, where was it? Where, okay. where, where was I? The third question. Can you bring mom back? Exactly what I thought. Since you can't answer these three questions, I don't think I can forgive you. And excuse me, we're running late. Oh, let's go. You tried your best. Try that. You want to talk, but nobody's listening. You want to say what you feel inside, but there is trouble in the house of love. There is pain where happiness was, and you have seen what loneliness does. You don't know who to play. You called me. And you don't know yeah, it's better. Sit. Uh, no problem, sir. I'll stand. Okay, I am going to be brief. Straight to the point. You understand the reason I employed you was to take care of my wife when she fell sick. And now that she's no more. I know it's possible you, you've been thinking about leaving. I want to let you know that you're free to go anytime you're, you're ready. Just, just let me know, I won't stop you, okay? Ah, sir, I don't have any plans of leaving you. And besides, you need someone to take care of the girls when you're not around. Sir, please don't send me away, please sir. You mean you have no intentions of leaving? No, sir. No. Okay. It's fine. Thank you, sir. Thank You're you. welcome. You've tried your best. Is yeah, she's right. The kids need someone to take care of them.
Are you waiting for your ride? Don't worry. You continue to stand here until the sun makes you black. Nonsense. Audrey, I thought we've had this conversation about your attitude. Why are you always rude to your schoolmates? Why? As you can see, I don't want to talk about this. And I'm hungry. Audrey, will you come back? Go in the car and pick up your school bag. You can go and pick it up yourself. Besides, you're closer to it. Audrey! Audrey, will you come back here and stop being silly? Audrey! Audrey! Sir, it's already past the girls' closing time from school. Oh my goodness. Ha! Ah, my khaki! Hey, good afternoon. Thank God you're home. You know, I was so worried when I didn't see you at school. How did you get home? Tired. I'll teach your mentors on the way and give us some money to get back home. But, Dad, why? Oh, I am sorry, darling. Okay. I dozed off and totally forgot. Please, I'm, I'm so sorry. Papa, Dad said he's sorry. Let us forgive him. Papa? You're not going to say anything? That is because I have nothing to say. Oh, I'm sorry. You've tried your best. Nothing is working. Nobody's listening. You want to say what you feel inside, but there is trouble in the house of love. There is pain. Come in, the door is open. You don't know what to do. Sweetheart. Oh, you're not in bed yet. I can't sleep, Dad. Why can't you sleep? I really miss mom. I wish mom was still alive. I know. But listen, you have to sleep. You have to rest. It's late. Okay? Even mom will be sleeping wherever she is. And she will not be happy to see you awake like this. Would you want me to take you to your room, stay with you until you fall asleep? Okay. 
I am going to be your driver tonight, so you can drive me to your room. Oh, come here. So, did you enjoy your ride to your room? Tell you what, if you promise not to leave your bed again, we'll do this over and over and over again. Agreed? Okay, Dad. That's my goal. <laughs> so... But, Dad, I really do miss Mom. And I wish I could see her again. Yes. I... I miss her too. I miss her more. And not to worry. I'll do my best to take care of you and your sister. Okay? You... You all have got. Alright. Time to sleep. Good night, my angel. Good night, Dad. Good night. Good morning, Dad. You're already up and dressed. Surprised? You know, I thought I should show you girls that I can also be early. And henceforth, I won't take or pick you up from school late. teacher yes hello yes please this is Audrey's mom Audrey please what has she done again this time oh, God, it's, it's all right it's all right I, I'll be right there all right, thank you very much. <sighs> what exactly is going on with Audrey? What is this?
Mr. Man, which way are you going? Excuse me. Excuse you what? Are you blind? Audrey. Audrey, apologize to the man immediately. Why should I? He was the one that bumped into me. Audrey! Audrey, come back here and said apologize! It's fine, it's fine. You know, kids will always be kids. It's okay. I'm 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 so sorry, okay? I am so sorry. Oh, I, no, no worries, no worries. No worries. Just never this name, please. No worries. It's fine. Sorry, okay? Sorry. What's wrong? I forgive you. What? Why don't you just go and freshen up? We're going out for lunch. Let's go out for lunch. Yes. Okay, Dad. Let's go. All right. Be fast about it. Okay, Dad. Hi. Hi. We meet again. I'm sorry. I'm. I'm not sure I know you. Oh, you you've forgotten about me so soon. I, we met the other day when your daughter bumped into me and wouldn't apologize. Oh, it's, yeah. it's somewhere here. Yes. Yeah, yes yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let me have your phone and then. Okay. Um, okay. You're such a nice person, eh? <laughs> okay. Why don't we hang out sometime? Ah, um, I'm actually a very busy person, but I, I will make a time. I'll make a time. Is that yeah. a yes? It's a yes. 
Thank you very much. Okay, I'm just gonna go. Uh, we'll catch you later. All right, I, I came for my kids actually. Right. Yeah, yeah. Bye. Then. Bye. So many times I had wished and prayed I, I was the one sick instead of her. When she died, it was like a huge part of me had been cut off. I didn't want to believe it. But now I do. Honestly, I just want to be a good father to my daughters. Right now. I'm so sorry, Bernard, okay? I am so sorry for your loss. Well, hopefully she's in a better place. Yeah, hopefully. So what about you? Are you and Audrey's father still together? No, no, of course not. Of course not. Um, we had a big misunderstanding a few months after Audrey was born. And, um... After some time, he, he, he just stopped coming around. That was when I knew that he had abandoned us. So I've raised my daughter by myself. So right now you don't know if he's dead or alive? I don't know. But he's dead to me. You know... I think I, I have found a perfect replacement in you. Yeah. It's true we, we haven't known each other for long, but deep down I, I feel I have known you all my life. Can we be together? Make each other happy forever. Bernard, Bernard, you are going too fast. Easy, tiger. <laughs> I mean, we've got loads and loads of time ahead of us, so there's no need to rush anything. Ah, I guess you're right. There is no need to rush. So, oh, let's go. Yeah, of course. Cheers to the good life. Guy, if you see that lady, God actually took his time to create her. Is she that beautiful? Her beauty is an understatement. She's perfect. 
And you know what? I have fallen in love. I mean, Bernard, uh, from your story, you've just met this lady just three times at your daughter's school. Do you even know if she's married? I didn't see any ring on her finger. Besides, what's wrong in falling for a woman after seeing her a couple of times? Haven't you heard about love at first sight? Oh, well, I don't have anything to tell you. But be careful. Just be careful, because I won't be there when she will be rejecting your advances. Jerry... <laughs> have you ever heard that a woman refused my advances? Of course she know me right from her high school days. Guy, I'm in love. Oh, my Thanks. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Tell me the truth. You missed me? I know you. I know you're lying. You definitely missed me. I missed you too. Yes. All right, darling. Yes, I love you too. <laughs> I was thinking about you throughout the day at the office. Honestly, you could make me run mad. <laughs> and you'll still be the one to kill my madness. Oh, yes. Okay, okay. I have to let you go to bed now. Okay. I was still going out tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow night. Okay. All right, good night. All right, good night. Baby, why haven't you gone to sleep yet? Was that my dad on the phone? No, it wasn't your dad. I was a friend, a friend from work. A friend. And you're telling the friend you love him. <laughs> Audrey. Listen, it's normal to tell a friend that you love your friend. Don't you have friends? I don't. Then you should try making one and see how it goes. I don't want to. Oprah, I didn't notice you coming. Well, the door was open, so I just let myself in. Okay. By the way, Dad, who was that on the phone? Oh, just a friend. Just a friend? Yes. At this time? Dad, I heard it all. You heard what all? Listen, we're friends, okay? Friends can talk to each other any time. Okay. Yes. If you say so. Good night, Dad. Good night, Abra. Hi, my love. How does mom look? How do I look? Huh? Are you going out? Yes. Yes, my love. I I'm going out. 
The friend you were talking to last night. Yes. Listen, baby. I'm going out with that friend, okay? He's coming over here to pick me up and then we'll go out. So you're going to leave me here by myself? Baby, you're a big girl. Okay, Audrey, you say that all the time. Mommy, I'm a big girl. Mommy, I am a big girl. So you are a big girl. And I made your favorite meal, okay? I promise I'm going to be back before bedtime, okay? Baby! Audrey, don't get like... So she pretended every week to it's like she tried to hide her assignments. <laughs> I was trying to Oh Dad. Hi girls, how are you? Um, where are you going? To the office. I got a call from the office. Really, Dad? Yes. By this time dressed like this. We're not little girls anymore, so we know. <clears throat> okay. I know you know don't got Kate, and I am sorry for trying to play you like that. Let's say that, let's say that dad is going out to see someone. Dad's new friend? Exactly. Dad's new friend. Hope you won't be staying out late. Of course not. It will be fine if you don't wait up for me. Okay? Dad loves you. I'll be back before you know it. It's like I was saying, she tried to hide the book in her bag, but then it actually ended up in my own bag. She knows how strict that situation is. Exactly, but like. Yes. Hey, baby. You look gorgeous tonight. And you look dashing. <laughs> so, shall we? Yes, of course, but I'm first. Hold on. Audrey! Audrey! Audrey, come. Hi. Mom. Say hello to Uncle, Uncle Bernard. Hello, Audrey. Stay away from my mom. She does not want you. I'm so sorry, okay? I honestly am sorry. I don't know what's going on with Audrey these days. It's fine. You know, she's trying to be protective of her mom. Okay, listen, do not let this spoil our mood tonight. We're out of fun. So, let's go have fun. Audrey, lock the door! Mm -hmm. I still am. You guys should go to your room, it's late. We're not going anywhere till our dad comes back. Dad is not back yet. He's not yet back. And I don't think he's coming back anytime soon. We'll wait for him. Ah. Please, come and go upstairs. Come and sleep. Please. We'll wait. Okay, fine. I'm gonna lie down.
Uh, oh, you sure you don't want me to go in with you? Uh, no. <laughs> it's fine, it's okay. You know, very soon we won't have to sleep in different houses, you know. Well, hopefully so. But till then, good night. I guess this is good night. Of course it is. Good night, Mr. Bernard. Want to do a kiss? Is that better now? Not what I had in mind, though. But I'll manage. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, Bernard. Good night. Call me when you get home. Sure, I will. Bye. Bye. So what are you doing here? And where are you coming from by this time of the night, Eunice? Benton, listen, I have the right to go wherever I want to go to. This is my house and I do not owe you any explanation. And why you left my daughter alone all by herself? Huh? Because you needed to fool her around. Because you needed to frolic around, Eunice. That's why you left my daughter. Benson, Benson, Benson! Benson, now you listen to me, okay? Like I said, I do not owe you any explanation, okay? This is my house, so I can go wherever I want to go to. Get out of my house! Get out. Now listen to me and listen good. As long as you remain my daughter's mother, I own you. And I will warn you one time. Stop the nonsense. Stop the bullshit. Eunice, stop going around and messing around. And stop fooling around with those men, whatever they are, I don't care. If you don't listen to me, you will know why I have my father's last name.
You've tried your best, nothing is working. You want to talk, but nobody's listening. You want to say what you feel inside, but there is trouble in the house of love. There is pain where happiness was, and you have seen what loneliness does. You don't know who to blame, you're going insane, and you don't know what to do. My wife, what is it? What are you doing here? Why beat me? Why not go beat you? What are you going to find for you? It's to the hall, to brought to the hall. You know, see, as we did this compound, we did this house, we supposed to collaborate as friends now. Nah. You know, see, we'll be friends, no ma. Mm. That's because I don't like you. I know this is your small, small gossip. Anytime you come to meet me, if, if not this gossip, from one gossip to another, I don't like your company. Jelas, I haven't given one gist for yourself. You see, time when you're going to come back is tonight. Mm hmm. What's eh? Lawa. I want to ask you a question. Did they employ you to guide this gate or to come into this parlor to gossip all the time? Remember, there is CCTV camera all over this house, monitoring everything. Mm. And listen to me. The next time you will come to me with all this your nonsense and stupid gossips, I will make sure I report you to Oga. Try me again. Calm down to the verse. I don't want the verse. I don't want the verse. Why the verse? What you don't the verse? Since I'm going to marry him, I don't die. If I plan no work, eh? you know, if you be my next madam. Nami, 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 you the mock. You the crazy. And who even told you I have interest in Oga? Who told you that one? I will deal with you. Hmm? Hmm. Vera, I have interest in Oga. Dad, are you awake? Dad, are you awake? Yes. Come in. Good morning, Dad. Good morning, Dad. Good morning. Am I under arrest or something? Where did you go last night? And who did you go out with last And night? what time did you come back? Hey, hey. One question at a time. Okay. Well... Right. I went out with a friend. And I came back a little, a little bit late. And we waited and waited and waited for you to come for you. I am sorry, my darling. But I told you not to wait up. Because I knew I was going to be late. Okay. So, when are we going to meet this friend of yours? Yeah. Is it a he? Is it a she? When the time is right. Mm. <laughs> uh, okay, Dad. So, what are your plans for today? Uh, as you can see, I just woke up. Uh, no plans yet. So, that means you're going to spend your day with us? Maybe. In the kitchen? Maybe. Yes, we can learn some new recipes. Yes. Um, bring it down. Okay, Dad. So, freshen up and we'll come get you later. Okay. Okay. See you soon, Dad. Alright. Get ready. Oh.
Chad is not here yet. You've dropped her already. I am just about leaving the house. Dad, we're going to be late. All right, dear. I, I have to run. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Take care of yourself. Bye. Sorry, my darling, for keeping you waiting. Okay. Shall we? Sh shall we go now? Yes, sir. All right. Yes, yes. Sir. Listen, Jerry. There is nothing you will say here that will make me change my mind. She's the one for me. Are you sure about this? As sure as I am that rain falls from the sky. She's so sweet. Lovely, calm, hard working. I mean, everything you want in a woman, she has it. So, uh, what about her daughter? You told me she's rude. Oh yes, very rude. Very, very rude and disrespectful. Uh, that's not a problem. When we get to that bridge, we will definitely cross it. Uh, what about your own daughters? Uh, have you told them this, especially Oprah? Well, I haven't told them. And um, I haven't really thought about how they will feel. But at the right time, they will know. I'll tell them at the right time. Uh, I think I, I have to be on my way now, bro. Hey, let me go see them. Alright. Trouble in the house of love, nobody's happy. Trouble in the house of love, everybody's angry. Once they were together, I think I've done it. I'll give you my Facebook from before. What is wrong with you? What is wrong with me, Jaya? Stupid family. Listen, I don't have the time to exchange words with you. So you better leave me and my sister alone. I don't want to have anything to do with you or your stupid family. You better tell your father to stay away from my mom. What do you mean and what are you talking about? You better ask your father where he goes out every evening or who he goes out with. Tell your father to stay away from my mom and he should stop coming to eat the food in our house. What does she mean by eat the whole food in our house? Does that mean that dad goes there every evening to eat with them? Exactly what she said. I don't know why she's so mean. So girls, um, what are we going to do for fun this afternoon? Pearl. Oprah.
Hey girls, can I come in? Pam. What's going on? Why have you been ignoring me? Did dad do anything wrong? Talk to me, please. Dad, is it true you're friends with Audrey's mom? Who told you that? Oh, so it's true. Um, yes. I was going to talk to you about it. Dad, do you know that Audrey is a bully and she always picks on us in school? That's Audrey, not her mom. Her mom is one of the sweetest persons you can ever know. It doesn't matter that you don't know Audrey and she doesn't want you with her mom. Neither do we. Is it because she picks on you? I can talk to her mom about it and she will stop. Dad, Audrey is very stubborn. She doesn't even listen to her own mother. Listen, girls. If you know what I know about her background, you will begin to see her in different light. Believe It, does, it doesn't matter, Dad. Just stay away from them. Okay, fine. I, I will think about it. Yes. Meanwhile, I'll phone. I'll be in my room. Hello? What is your problem? See? Don't bother coming here. She does not want you. Is everything okay? I heard you screaming. No, I was just excited. They're showing my favorite program. Oh, are they? Okay. You yeah. want to talk, but nobody's listening. You want to say what you feel. So you just dressed up for nothing. The problem is not even coming to get you. There is pain where happiness was. And you have seen what Why would you say that? You don't know who to play. Who do you think is coming? Who else? He probably just gave up and decided to leave you. Audrey, baby, listen, I'm not in the mood for any of this right now, okay? Hold on. Dad! 
<laughs> Who's the most beautiful girl in the world? I am. That's right. Come here. <laughs> right. Come here. <laughs> Hi. How are you doing today? I'm fine. Dad, yes. you promised to come pick me up at school, but you didn't show up. Oh, my princess, I'm sorry. You see, I, I got caught up with work. Uh, I was so busy, I couldn't make it. I'm sorry. Okay, Dad. Good. Um, who, who is in with your mom? She planned one outing with one man tonight. Is that so? Yes. But I told him not to come, that she doesn't want me. Great. <laughs> But wait, how did you do that? It was so easy. He was calling her. And I picked up the phone and I was like, don't stop calling her. She doesn't want you. That's my girl. <laughs> Great. Um, Princess, there's something I want you to do for me. When next you see that man in this house, let me know. Can you do that? Okay, Dad. Great. Great. Um, please go get me a water. Okay, Dad. Yes, babe. I'm gonna be with you in in, in less than 15 minutes. Yes. Yes. Okay. See you soon. Um, Dad. I don't know what's wrong with her. Bro, she's not feeling fine. What's wrong with her? I don't know, she's complaining. Her head, her leg, everything. Dad, Why is she? Why is she? Oh, come on, take Daddy. Hey, what is it? What's wrong? That is here. That, that, that is here, okay? Your head? He's a feeling sick. I'm dead. Talk to me. What, what, what is it? I'm pushing, pushing. Oh, your temperature is calm. Oh, my leg, my leg. Your leg? My leg. Your head. Oh. Oh. Let's take her to the hospital, please. No, wait, wait. Dad. I think you should just observe her for a while. We just have to take her to the hospital. No, she, she, just she, stay she, here with her, Dad. Oh, so, Pearl, where? Leg, leg, my leg. Ah, my head. No, no, no. My back, my back. It's my back. Let's, let's take her to the hospital, okay? Immediately. No, Dad, just stay with her. It might be, it might, she just... I have an important appointment to catch. An important appointment to catch over your daughter's health. Seriously. I'm sorry. I'm Let's take you to the Your leg. No, no, Dad, please do it for me. Dad, please, for where, where me. Is that yeah, yeah. Yeah. Dad, please, for ah, me. Where, where is that? Yeah, 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 there. Yes, yes, please. Do you need juice? Yeah, no, please. Please, buy juice for me. For Ju me. Yes, please. All right, all right, all right. Don't worry. Ah, my, my. Yes, my. Yes, my. Yes,
is here and it's time to go. So don't let anybody tell you no. There's trouble in the house of love. Nobody's happy. Trouble in the house of love. Everybody's angry. Once they were together, but now everything has scattered. Now there's trouble where there used to be love. There is trouble in the house of love. You can't take it anymore. Trouble in the house of love. You want to walk out of the door. No one sees a reason and there is no understanding. There is trouble in the house. Trouble in the house. Hey, there is trouble hey. in the house of love. Nobody's happy. Trouble in the house of love. Dad, don't or prosecute me, have fun. I can see your feet are strong today. You're no longer sick. Um, no, Dad. Hmm. Oprah, did you and your sister plot and pretend for her to be sick just so you could stop me from going out last night? We don't know what you're talking about, Dad. I wasn't feeling well last night, so I had to call you. Besides, we didn't know you were going out. Well, since I couldn't go out last night, I'm going out now. Uh, um, Dad, can we join you? No. None this time. I hope it's not Audrey's mom we're going to see. I don't know. I just want to go out. Okay. But what if Pearl falls sick again? No, she wouldn't. Or if she does, Vera is inside. She knows. She knows what to do. Yes, what is it? Babe, why are you treating me this way? You won't even let me know what I did. You don't know what you did. Bernard! You do not know what you did, is that it? Let me remind you. We were supposed to go out, Bernard. What did you do? You stood me up. You stood me up, Bernard, and you did not even have the sincerity, the gods, to call and explain yourself as to why you did that. Okay. And you think you can just call in here and just explain yourself and everything will be fine? I had an emergency at home. My daughter was sick. I would never do such to you. Please. I am sorry, okay? I am deeply sorry. Bernard, but you know, you know I have feelings too. I have feelings. I mean, what is the point being with you if you cannot explain things like this to me? Why are we together if that's, you can't do that? That's why I'm here. That's why I came. I'm sorry, please. Okay. It's alright. It's okay. This will never do this again. It will never happen again. Besides, you know I cannot stay mad at you for too long. Thank you. <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> I missed you. Yeah, I missed you too. Okay, so um, would you like to sit while well, I get you something? Oh yes. Let's drink. Oh right. <laughs> oh my goodness, babe. Um, why can't you just go? No. I like it here. What is it you like about here? The fresh air, the atmosphere, everything. <laughs> oh, I can understand that. Nature. Yeah. And it's beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, it's really beautiful. Oh, the way you saw it, Oh, yeah, she's inside. <laughs> Audrey! Audrey! There 
Come, my love. Say hi to Uncle. Hi, Audrey. How have you been? Anything else? Audrey. Fine. Audrey, come back here at once! Don't worry. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Can you imagine that? I believe she's still trying to get used to seeing me around you. Sorry, okay. I, I, I didn't even know she was going to be, behave like this. It's okay, babe. It's fine. You know how kids are. You know how they behave. So, can we go inside now? Of course. Do you have anything for me? There is always something for you, baby. That's why you are my baby. I'm sorry again, okay? It's fine. <laughs> Audrey! Audrey, what is wrong with you? What exactly is wrong with you? When did you become a menace like this? When? Is it a crime to have a daughter? Why would you do something like that, Audrey? I'm talking to you. Why? Eh? Now you listen to me. You're grounded. Yes, you were grounded for a week. No ice creams, no TVs, no outing, absolutely nothing, Audrey. And you will remain there till you realize how mean you have been. What is wrong with you? It's okay. I hope you weren't too hard on her. I don't know, honestly, babe. I, I do not know. Audrey became like this. Honestly, I think it's my fault. Yes, it's my fault. I've been pampering her too much. Don't blame yourself. Okay? Every child has a stage where they tend to be very stubborn. I don't believe there's too much love and pampering. Yes. You don't? What then do you think could be the cause? Um, probably because she, she never had a, a father figure in her life. Yeah, and she needs one. Look, babe, if everything works out between us, I could fit that role perfectly. I should be happy to have sisters. I'm going to be here for you now and always. Okay? I love you. I really do love you. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, babe. You're welcome. Okay, so thank you so much for coming. I'm going to walk you to your car now. All right. Yeah? You've tried your best. Nothing is working. You want to talk, but nobody's listening. You want to say what you feel inside, but there is trouble in the house of love. There is pain where happiness was. And you have seen what loneliness does You don't know who to blame You're going insane And you don't know what to do There's trouble There's trouble in the house of love Nobody's happy Trouble in the house of love Everybody's angry Once they were together But now everything has scattered There is trouble where there used to be love there is trouble in the house of love You can't take it anymore Trouble in the house of love You want to walk out of the door No one sees the reason okay. There is no understanding There is trouble in the house of love Audrey Are you still mad at mommy?
Listen, my darling. I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry about my outburst earlier. Mommy is so sorry. Okay, but I also want you to know that what you did was wrong. It was so wrong, baby. Audrey. You know how mommy has been struggling to be happy. You know that, right? And you know that daddy doesn't make me happy. But Uncle Bernard is the one who tries to make me happy whenever I'm with him. So baby, I am begging you. Give us a chance. Okay, listen. Baby, I'm not saying that you should, you know, reject your father. But all I am asking is, do not be mean to Uncle Bernard. That is all I'm asking, my love. Do you think you can do that for mommy? Audrey, can you do that for mommy? I'm sorry. Okay. You've tried your best. Nothing is working. You want to talk, but nobody's listening. You want to say what you feel inside, but there is trouble in the house of love. There is pain where happiness was. I will shout again. Let's go, baby. Don't you sit here by yourself when I'm by myself in the room? Hmm? I'm gonna do that to mommy, okay?
Hello, big guy. <laughs> uh, uh, hi. Hello. Uh, um, have we met before? Oh, no, no, not really. Uh, well, I, I come here very often to relax, and this is my favorite spot, honest. Oh, so, you, oh. so I just see you sitting there. I thought perhaps we could share a table. Oh, it's fine. Go ahead. Uh, I'm Ben Saint. Um, I'm Bernard. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Please Can I sit? Go ahead. <sighs> Thank you. <clears throat> uh, so what's going on? Uh, are, are you waiting up for someone? No. Alone. Okay. <laughs> um, <clears throat> Oh, uh, it's, it's, it's a beautiful environment here. You know, sometimes I come here after work. When you've had a long day of work, you just want to relax and cool off. This is where I come. Yeah, very beautiful. Mm -hmm. I like it. Mm -hmm. It's actually my first time here. Though. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, you should come here more often. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. I love it. I love it. The artwork, everything. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. So, w w what do you care for? Uh, I have a favorite. Yes, yes, the bad girl will tell you that. Um, hello! Please bring me my favorite. <laughs> yeah. What is the problem? Dad, who is that man you were talking to? Is he your friend? Why do you ask? Because he looks scary and bad. <laughs> How do you mean by he looks scary? It's just that something doesn't seem right with him like so he just kept saying he was your friend well i just met him his name is benson i can't really say that he's good or bad but he looks calm so how are you coping with your friend audrey dad, dad. I, I thought, thought we told, told you to stay away from them. Oh. I'm sorry. Oh. Yes. <laughs> Alright. Good night, girls. Hey, good night, Dad. Why did he mention Audrey? Hi. Hi, darlings. Hi. Yes, good afternoon. I'm sure you guys are waiting to be picked up, right? Yeah, we're going to wait for our dad to come pick us up. Well, instead of waiting for your dad to come pick you up, I can drop you guys off. Um, no thank you, Ma. I don't think Audrey would like that. Now listen, I'm the one who owns the car. I'm the one who decides who will sit in it and who would not. So come on, let's go, okay? Let's go. Come. What's up, Benson? So nice to get a call from you. How are you doing? What's the problem? It's me, your sister's boyfriend. You are very stupid. Excuse me. Yes, you heard me. You are out of your mind. You must be stupid. I, I, I don't understand. Who is your sister? No, 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 no. Who did you give me as a sister? I'm asking you. Oh, Hyun. Hyunes? So is that what she told you? 
Is that what she told you? That I am dead. That Andre's father is dead. Is that what she told you? Now listen to me. I know you. Bernard, I know you more than you think I do. I know where your kids go to school. I know how many times you go to the gym in a week and where you fellowship. I know all of them. I know you, boy. Now let me warn you. Stay away from my family. If you don't, I will kill you. What is it? Babe, why am I now a stranger to you? You will not pick my calls and you will not return them. What exactly is the problem? Listen, Eunice, I am late for the office, okay? And I'm not ready for a quarrel this morning, please. Oh, oh, so now, talking to me is hard? I am now a quarrelsome lady to you? Burnout? So you lied then? You lied to me when you told me you were in love with me, right? Will That's you what you did! Will you shut your lying mouth? How about you stand before me and accuse me of lying to you? When your whole life is based on a lie? To think I was even ready to spend the rest of my life with you without knowing your past! Past? What past are you talking about, Oh, drop the act. You think I wouldn't find out? You think I wouldn't find out that your, your daughter's father is still alive and he visits you and his daughter? <clears throat> how, how did 
How? I mean, who told you about him? So it's true. Yes. A part of me was hoping you would deny it. So it's true. Wow. Thank you very much. Yes. I really appreciate it. But I want to tell you this. Stay away from me. And I will do say this is for the better. Bernard. Ben. Bernard. Time you're supposed to be coming back from work. So I'm, I'm, I'm supposed to be outside waiting for you, right? What are you doing here, Benson? Huh? Benson. This. This is my house. My house. Okay? Sick Benson, we have been separated for nine years, nine solid years. Why wouldn't you leave me alone? You have my daughter, and as such, I have you. We cannot be separated. Do you understand that? Exactly. You lie, Benson. I can never be yours. Oh, that is, that is why you lied to Bernard about still being with me. Now that you have ruined that relationship, tell me, Benson, what have you gained? What exactly have you gained? So you still want her to go see that Miss Grant after I warned him to stay away from my family. Your family? What family are you talking about? Huh? I'm asking you, Benson, what family are you talking about? Listen, I can never be your family. I'm daughter can never be yours. So leave us alone. Stay the hell away from us. Get out! Get out of my house, Benson. Please just get out. Get out. Dad, are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. Just tired. Dad, we want to tell you something. What is it? It's about Audrey and her mom. Audrey is a bully and I'm sure her mom is not any different. I understand. They will not disturb you again. Okay? Really, Dad? Yes. Mm -hmm. 
Does this mean that you are going to end things with her? Oh, yes, I you, you just go back. You need to go freshen up and get some rest. Okay? Go ahead. Hey girls. Good, good afternoon. afternoon. Yes, good afternoon. How are you doing? Okay, um how was school? Uh, how was classes? Oprah. What's going on, Oprah? What's going on? I I, I thought we were getting along pretty well. Okay, you know what? Um let me go and pick up Audrey and then I can drop you guys off okay is that okay um no don't worry our dad will come pick us up very well then take care okay take care okay But I, but I tried to warn you. I tried to warn you, but you wouldn't listen. I, I, I told you that this lady was, was, was too good to be true, but you were blindfolded with lust, calling it love. And just look at where you are now. Just look at it. Guy, man, this lady played a better football with my heart. She rubbished it in the sand and threw it back at me. And I thought I was in love. I thought I was in love. God. Uh, you see, my guy, I want you to forget about everything. Women will always come. What I need you to do right now is focus on taking care of your daughters. Yes, you're right. I I have to focus on my kids. Yes, I have to focus. I have to focus on my on my daughters. Excuse me.
Hello, Opera. How are you? What? She collapsed? Where, 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 what happened? Uh, where are you guys now? Where, where, where are you? Uh, okay, okay. I, I, I'll be right there. I'll, I'll be there immediately. I'll be there immediately. Yes. Yes, I am coming now. Uh, Jerry, my, my, my daughter, my daughter. I have, I'll, I'll see you tomorrow, please. Don't say it like that. Nothing will happen to your sister. She will be fine. I promise. Doctor, um, what is wrong with my daughter? Is she going to be all right? Well, can I see you briefly outside? What is the problem? Please, come with me. Okay, um, Oprah, take care of your sister. Uh, I'll be right back. D Doctor, please, what is the situation with my daughter? Your daughter is suffering from a severe kind of infection and it has eaten so deeply into her system. Uh, listen, doctor, I don't care about what she's suffering from, okay? All I want to know is the way out. What is the solution? Her blood is not clotting properly. And as a result, she has lost a whole lot of blood. So all we need right now is blood transfusion. So what are we waiting for? Let's go so I can donate my blood. According to our lab test, her blood group is ray. She is O negative. That means she can only accept from the same type of group. Okay, so w w what do we do? I am so sorry, Mr. Bernard. We have to look for a donor as fast as possible. Doctor, please. How do we go about it? Where, where, where do we start? We have to do our best. But you yourself equally have to go out and look for a donor. Very important. Um, all right. What did I tell you? Did I not tell you that you will regret your actions, Unit? Did I not tell you? Hmm? Hmm, Benson. Look at you. It's obvious you're high on one of those substances you love to get high on. I don't know why it's so hard, so difficult for you to leave me alone. Then why should I leave you alone? Tell me. Why? Why should I leave you alone? Why do you think I would do that? Huh? Why? Listen, you are mine. You are mine. No man. No man will take you away from me. Get that out of the back of your head. That's a lie. Now that is a big fat lie. And I am not a car. Neither am I a piece of furniture that you think you can own as yours. No, let's leave me alone! 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 Leave me alone
You and your mother are mine. And I will do with you both as I please. Both of you. I mean, both of you. I will do with you as I please. Yes, as I please. I'm sorry, it didn't match. But what is happening? What is going on? My didn't match. Now my friends didn't match too. But I told you, your daughter has a rare kind of blood group. As a matter of fact, all we need right now is more donor. The earlier the better. Thank you. God. Hi! Jerry, I lost my wife. Now I'm about to lose my daughter. What is going on? Who have I offended? Don't What's happening to me? Listen, don't say that, okay? There is still hope. Where? Where is the hope? Your daughter is not going to die. So just put yourself together. Ha! Jerry, please. Benat. I think this will solve anything. Now listen to me. I will be back before you know it. And then I will come back for you and my daughter. You lie. You lie, Benson. Now you listen. You are not coming out of there anytime soon. And I will make sure I do everything. Every single thing within my power to make sure you stay very far away from my daughter and I. Madam, that's enough. Now move. This girl, you're awake. Uh, uh, um, thank God you're awake. How are you? Uh, do you need anything? Dad, am I going to die? No. Uh, why would you say anything like that? You're not going to die. You're fine now. You, you, you're awake. I saw mom in my dream. She said she loves me and she misses me. Uh, it's just a dream, okay? Your mom will always love you wherever she is and she would want you to get better. She will definitely get better, right? Uh, um, let me call the doctor. Just, just stay here. Let me call the doctor. Doctor! My daughter is away. What is it? Where is your sister? Where is your dad? Why are you crying, Oprah? What is wrong? You know you can all... 
Oprah. Doctor, my daughter grows weaker by the day. Is there nothing you can do? I wish there was. As it stands now, blood transfusion is only thing she needs at this point. Are you saying of all the donors I brought, none of them matches? No, I'm sorry. Another thing, there's no more time. You have to go out there and source for donors. Please, there are countless number of people out there who are willing to donate. Okay? Time is ticking. You didn't touch your food. Sir, you need to be strong. For the sake of your daughters, please. Vera, how can I? How can I when my daughter is lying on the sick bed with almost no hope of getting better? How? Sir, nothing is going to happen to Pearl. I believe it. And I also want you to do the same too. Yeah. I pray so. Well, thanks for your kind words. Alright? Hello? Doctor? Nothing is working. You want to what? Okay, I, I'll be there immediately, yes, right away, all right, okay. yes, um, all is well. I have a good news for you. Good news? Yes. We found a good Samaritan who offered to donate her blood. After hearing the beautiful state of your daughter, 
So we ran the test and everything matched perfectly. As we speak right now, the blood is in the bank. I'm only waiting for your permission to start up the process. Doctor, thank you very much. Thank you. You're thank welcome. You. You're I welcome. really appreciate God bless you. God bless you. You're welcome. God bless you. Your daughter will be just fine. Amen. Amen. Um, please, who, who, who is this person who I can offer my gratitude immediately? Well, that is where the problem lies. She insisted that she remain anonymous. Do you know me now, eh? You know me. There is no how I wouldn't offer my gratitude or show how grateful. Mr. I Bernard, I thought you should be more concerned about the process instead of the donor. Can we just go? Later, I will tell you about that. I will tell you who the person is. Yeah. So let's go, please. Where, where is my She's upstairs. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Okay. Do you need anything else? <laughs> no, I'm fine. Her transfusion possible because I heard the doctor say her blood type was red. Oh yes, he did, but um, you know, God works in a mysterious way. I don't know, it came from heaven, and that's it. Uh, really? <laughs> yes. Well, Dad, whoever he is, I, I would like to thank him. Me too. And who said is a he? Then who is this person? The doctor. Don't worry, you will see them soon. Oh, here they are. <laughs> Hi, babe. You're welcome. Dad, what are they doing here? I thought we told you to stay away from them. Please, Dad, can they just leave me, please? Oprah, listen, I can explain, okay? What is there to explain? Little bully, you and your mom should leave it. now. Um, Dad, please tell them to go. We don't want them here. Yes. I can't. Why? Why? Are the both of you back together? Because she saved your sister's life. Yes. I'm so sorry. I know I've been a bully. I have not not been a good person and I have not even been a good friend. I just want to say I'm sorry and I promise this will happen again. It's alright Audrey. Oh, we forgive you. And thank you so much for donating your blood to me. Thank you for saving my life. Thank you for saving my sister's life. It's okay. Okay? It's okay. You don't have to thank me. I will do this over and over again. Thank you so much. <laughs> that's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. <laughs> Come here, babe. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> okay, um, I think I have to see the doctor. Yeah. Sarah, they will discharge you. Yeah. <laughs> they can go home. Alright, excuse me. Sorry. Audrey, sorry. Oh my god, Audrey. Oh, Audrey, sorry. Your head. Your head, sorry. Oh my god, what's wrong with you? I don't know. Baby. Oh, my head. Why didn't you call mommy? My head. Your head. I'm so sorry, my love. Okay, we'll go to the clinic now, okay? Why did you guys have that again? 
Babe. Um, would you do me the honor of being my wife? Yes. Will you marry me? Yes, yes, yes. I will marry you. Yes. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> Celebration, though. yes, it's where are we going exactly? Okay, both cruise. Bye. 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 Let's go. 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 Let's go.